Hello, I'm Sue and I'm the lead teacher for Energy Heroes. This innovative programme teaches primary school pupils about energy efficiency through the context of climate change. Since joining the Energy Heroes team, I have taken more and more steps to save energy myself, which saves me money whilst also helping to reduce my carbon footprint. In order to save energy at home, I only have my central heating on when I absolutely need to, and then I have it lower than I used to. Energy Heroes teaches that we only have to turn our heating down by one or two degrees in order to save up to 10% of our heating bills. This is good news for us. I also only put enough water in the kettle for what I need. I try to make sure I turn off radios, TVs and lights when there's no one in the room. And I try to avoid leaving appliances on standby. When I shower, I only have the water on when I'm actually rinsing off soap or shampoo. Uh, so most of the time when I'm in the shower cubicle, the water is actually off. Other ways that I try to save money and to avoid contributing to global warming are by only taking flights when I have to, um, mostly shopping in charity shops and walking and cycling when I can. I have recently switched my bank from one that supports the fossil fuel industries to a much greener one and I have changed my energy supplier at home to a 100% green one for the same reason. I buy my weekly shopping from Rethink Foods which reduces wastage and I buy some of my products from the refill shop on Hyde Park Corner to avoid one-use plastics. When I shop in supermarkets, I try to buy fruit and veg without plastic packaging. Now I'd like to introduce you to a web app called Geeky Zero, if you haven't seen it before. I find it gives me really useful steps to take to reduce my carbon footprint. There's always something more we can do and it gives me ideas that I might not have thought of for myself. Thank you for listening and good luck with your energy saving.